Right, we've got a juicy topic today, which is criticism. And so I'm gonna use a personal example that has happened to me in real time today about me getting criticized. Now, this came from a place of what I call the tall poppy syndrome, or what we in Australia know as the tall poppy syndrome. So when somebody starts to rise in stature or fame or move away from that herd, that that criticism comes and tries to top, uh, chop that person down and then bring them back down to that herd. What I'm gonna to express today is just this one scenario and from both sides of the, uh, of the coin, so the person that is criticizing, then also the person that is criticized, so that we're all good humans and we don't wanna do ineffective behaviors and we don't know what we don't know. And so this isn't to judge anyone, this is just to give tools and advice and support to both sides of this coin because we get to be on both sides of these coins as humans. Brene Brown says that criticism is a sign of fear. As described by the shame expert, criticism is a coping mechanism used by people who feel unworthy. Its purpose is to shift the spotlight of oneself and onto someone or something else in the effort to feel safe. So in this post I put up yesterday, I was it was a very vulnerable post for myself and I was talking out from a sense of pride and achievement of something that I've accomplished over the last three years. The way that we've grown up, especially men, chop each other down as soon as they start rising in stature or growing or changing. And it's like people start criticizing that, oh, he's changing, he's growing, and they try and pull you back into that paradigm of where they are playing. I spoke about vision and seven tools to ensure that you attain your vision. One of them, number six, was ensuring the herd that you surround yourself with, the people that you surround yourself with. And if you are the person that is the craziest visionary that has the biggest dreams, you need to get a new circle because that herd are gonna try and keep you there. Because as they start doing that, if you look at what Brene Brown is saying, is that they will start criticizing that because of her feeling of unworthiness inside of them. Now, this isn't wronging the unworthiness. We all, this is one of the primary fears that we have, we all, at some stage in our life, feel unworthy or don't feel like we deserve X, Y, and Z. Love, money, opportunities, possibilities. You could go everywhere with that. We all experience this. And so when there's that feeling of unworthiness in ourselves, uh, Gottman talks about when criticism is the attack of someone's personality or character. And so when we start to attack someone's personality or character, we're criticizing them. What Gottman says is the way to move through criticism and the opposite of when we're criticizing is because when we do that, we're projecting, we're using things like you. We're projecting that you, 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 you. Our feelings on the inside are coming out verbally into you are making me feel this way. Now Gottman says, go that side. And so how we don't criticize someone is start using the word I, I, feel a certain way. And so an example of this tall side poppy syndrome yesterday, I put this post up and this gentleman started criticizing me and projecting on me around Tony Robbins, about my qualifications, am I a qualified psychotherapist? And he started criticizing my character, my personality and everything. If I want the clock back, maybe even three years ago when I first did that vision post, I wouldn't have been confident within myself to be able to see that that was a projection and that it wasn't my stuff. So if you're on the other side of criticism and the criticism is coming at you, if you make that criticism about you, that's how you've lost the game. You literally lose the game because that criticism is also triggering something with inside you that is truth with a little t. Little t, it's not truth with a capital T because truth with a capital T is that we are all perfect, whole, complete, and always evolving, always. We are beautiful human beings, and we're on this beautiful journey. So that's truth. But with a little t, if, if that hits us, and like, oh, and we start to buy into that, then it's just a beautiful blessing because that is then your opportunity for growth. The opportunity to work so that that criticism, when it comes, is not going to affect you. Putting myself into what we would call the limelight in front of social media, using my voice, speaking what I feel is my truth and my beliefs very vocally. When I do that, it opens up the opportunity for criticism. And I highly encourage that. I encourage that criticism because it allows me as a man to know how I'm standing in my nervous system because our nervous system, it, it stores all over our body stores all of the suppressed emotion that we may have, the suppressed feelings and all that kind of stuff that people that we want to move through. And then someone, if they start criticizing us, may trigger that stuff up. So I invite that. I invite that because I know that I'm growing as a human if it doesn't react in my nervous system. So 
Let's look at the person that's criticizing. Now, this is one of the hardest things that we can ever do as a human, is to actually admit or own to ourselves that we're doing something that is ineffective. And we don't know what we don't know. And so rather than criticizing, Gottman talks about using and coming from a place of I feel. Now, a way we can do this assertively and to be able to really be heard is use this sentence or this framework. When you, then I, how can we? So my advice to this man and anyone, including myself, when I catch myself criticizing, is there's, there's a thing in us that feels unworthy that needs to be hurt. That we, we're starting to criticize something, but we're usually using the linguistics of you. And so as soon as we say, you made me, that person has all of our power. We're giving our power away. And most of us haven't been taught to take that ownership. So coming back within ourselves is like, Actually, I feel like this. When you did this post, it made me feel like this. And so the linguistics of that message really took from this place of I, I feel like this. And so this is a assertive communication tool. And then after that is then the last bit of this is how could we have a discussion around this man? How could we come up to a, an agreement on this? How can we? So we can both come backwards and forwards and we're able to talk about this. Now, if this kept happening and happening and happening and happening, I would need to stand firm within myself because that criticism, if I keep buying into that, I have to justify myself and defend myself. I enjoy having conversations with people. I enjoy, my, my mission on this planet is to activate men. So me coming back and having a discussion to call this man forward was part of my mission. Now, if it keeps coming and it's falling on deaf ears, then it's on me to set an assertive boundary. And how to set that boundary is because I know what my values are. I know my standards of how I want to be treated. I know the tone which I'd like to be received in. And it's like, okay, criticize me, but from a place of ownership, you are you. Every single person in here is the only one of you. Get to own that. You get to own that and you get to fucking be proud of that. That you are the only you on this planet and you can only do you like you can. And when you embrace that and fully own that and just don't give zero fucks about what anyone else thinks, you are going to get criticized. Because we've grown up in a generation that society has tried to box us and contain us in. And if we are anything outside of that box, the conglomerate may try and attack you. And so this is the next invitation. If you are getting criticized, especially with the, your circle, this is time to get a fucking new circle because a circle should want you to win. A circle should elevate you and celebrate every single step along the way. Now, it doesn't mean that offer feedback and advice and question you and, and make sure and challenge you to ensure that you're standing firm in that, but you have beautiful boundaries in place. It isn't this continual thing of criticism and attack on your personality or character. Now, usually this circle, they know who you are. They know what your values are. They know what your vision is. They know so much about you that that is where they challenge you from. It's like, hey man, you've mentioned that you are this kind of man. You're not being that man right now. Do you wanna have a chat about that? Now that's healthy. That's the kind of circle that I wanna be in, that I am in. And so I hope that this helps paint the picture that this is a two sided coin that we as individuals can jump from both side to side. So if we catch ourselves criticizing or attacking someone's character or gossiping behind the back, now the hardest thing to ever do is say, I'm feeling unworthy right now. When you went and achieved this goal, it made me feel like I should be doing more. I feel like I, I failed at life. I feel like I haven't put myself out there. I actually feel jealous of you. That is so against the grain of how to actually own that. But within that, you literally claim back your power and it can open up so much more possibilities because there's this acronym that um, one of my mentors taught me was the ACA, Awareness, Choice, Action. So we cannot change what we cannot see. So we're gonna be aware of it. So hopefully you're watching this, the next time you catch yourself saying, you made me feel angry, you made me feel like this, you, 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 out of your mouth, this blazes voice might pop up in your head like, hey man, you're criticizing right now. Yo, do that thing, use I instead of you. Come from I, how are you actually feeling? Say, so I feel this. And literally you've like changed your awareness. Now you're gonna be looking for something, a different linguistic within yourself and it's coming up from ownership and start to be speaking from that. If you're on the other side, 
and you're getting criticized. First thing is like, hey man, I can feel a lot of rejection right here. Can you speak from I right now? Can you actually express your feelings rather than project them to me? I can't make you feel a certain way. Your emotions are your own responsibility. I'm here to talk about all of them. But can you speak from I rather than projecting at me right now? If you'd like, there's a trigger here somewhere. Would you like space? If you're able to hold space, but you don't have to hold space for it. You don't have to entertain it at all. That's on you. Whether you want to or not is your decision. And depending on who that person is, is how far you go that entertaining that criticism. But it's on you, the individual, to choose. You want to entertain this criticism, do you want to hold the mirror up to this criticism? Or, hey man, enough is enough. This criticism has to stop. It's not healthy for me. And so I get to move away. I hope that this landed and it really resonated because literally this is something that um, has affected me deeply. I know that I've been on that side of the coin so much um, when I have been comparing to others. Yeah, it just came from this unworthiness. It's, um, it, it came from a place of I wanted to be what they were doing. And it literally was this like back in here. So I'm not saying I'm on a fucking pedestal here. I, I've said at the start, we all have come from this place of criticism. So we haven't been taught how to really speak from this way as a generalization. This is ensuring that we just take ownership of how anyone treats us, make sure that uh, we don't need to entertain anything if we don't want to. And then this person over here, that was the hardest thing that I had to like, entertain within myself is to own when I was criticizing. And then went and explored all of these different area, areas of why I was feeling unworthy, why I felt like I wasn't enough, why I felt like I was doing and achieving all of these things, yet still fell hollow. And once I uncover and discover all of that, I stopped criticizing people, literally. I can, I don't have the fucking energy or time to do it. It's a waste. If I feel myself wanting to criticize something, I'm like, oh cool, what is it about what they're doing that excites me or have envy or jealous or, or this criticism because that's what I want? Cool, take that. Model it. What are they doing? So I can really quickly flip it now. But I've had to do a lot of work, that inner work. So yeah, if you're tuning in, our next retreat is July 22nd, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, here on the magical Sunshine Coast. And so ladies, it is men only at the moment. Uh, my beautiful fiance and I have one in the, in, it's ready to go. We're just navigating the three young kids at the moment. Uh, so we've got three children. Uh, the oldest is four, the youngest is just turned 10 months. So we're just navigating all of that. While you're here, if anyone wants to know about Blake's venture, so we do a three day retreat, it is, we take men on a modern day man's right to passage. And so right to passage is you need to separate from society and then learn and, and go through challenges and then get a celebration back into the community. And so what, we, what we're looking at, what we're questioning and why we call a modern day man's right to passage is, what does it mean to be a man? How do we become, how do we be a man in this generation? So we have some frameworks um, that Carl Jung first wrote about that we teach. We fuse it all together with uh, indigenous culture. So Maori culture, Aboriginal culture, Native American culture, and fuse it together with elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, and spirit. If anyone else would like any advice, support, um, there's some things that I mentioned like Brene Brown and Gottman, some, some stuff I teach, I, I use a lot of Gottman stuff in my work. If you want anything, just hit me up. If you know that you criticize it, hey, just hit me up. There's no judgment here. I'm here to help and support as many people as I can, my, uh, men and women, everyone in between. Um, if you're on the other side and you're getting criticized a lot, you don't know how to set those boundaries, let me know, just hit me up. We can help you. I can help you with, with a few voice notes or whatever like that. Or, um, some offer you some, some reading or paraphernalia or anything like that. So here to support however you want. The only thing is that you need to ask because I don't know what we don't know. So much love guys. Enjoy your day and I'll chat to you soon. Peace. Mm, mm, mm.